In theory, this is a build the rookie team would do. You can use them in a game. You can take what we're talking about and apply it to games, to regionals, to championships. I'm just a bit concerned that we're gonna shoot shoot too high. I've never built a robot before, so I really can't comment on whether we are going fast or slow. I would like to get uh, prototyping and designing as soon as we can, uh, but I think we're gonna make it. Like our hopper. Exactly. Yeah. Or like, I'm hoping that a hopper is, is a spot. crazy that the right, exactly. Like, like some open the hopper. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not allowed to force air out of the hopper. So we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Our number one priority is to be able to pick up and take your gear to the airship and leave it there on the designated spot. Uh, after that, being able to pick up balls off of the floor. The third priority is a shooter for the high goal. With uh, it's ending, it's already lit. And here it is, ready for your ring light. So. That's awesome. Amazing. Except for the vision stuff. So this is my house, and we are building a robot in my garage. Ball release. We held it out by accident, but now it's pizza. So you think this will like come up into this area with just this, or does this need to be higher? So I'm thinking we might be able to shoot two balls at the same time. As the robot would come and turn around and catch it here, then as we start twisting, both of these pieces would be continually turning together. We have prototyping going on. We have a prototyping shooter um, in construction right now. We have people building us a prototype boiler that they just finished. We've also had people building gear boxes. We've had people doing CAD drawings to actually figure out where everything is going to be placed in the robot. <laughs> but if we can shoot two balls at the same time, since the goal is so nice and big, that would be swell. Having multiple balls in the air, air at once uh, was a pretty uh, interesting concept, so see how it goes. If we want to change that, we can change it to 70 degrees and see what that looks like, and then we can maybe figure something else out.